Welcome to the campus of University of North Carolina. Day one of training camp is wrapping up and we're doing a ride along with Kemba Walker on our way home. Wanted to try something new this year, get, get a chance to touch base with you. How you feeling? I feel good. I feel great, actually. <laughs> I'm a little tired, of course, after the first full day of training camp, but I'm good. You know, we're here at UNC. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot of history to this program. A lot. I was doing some research, though. At UConn, you never actually had the chance to play against nope. the Tar Heels. No. Nope. What did that mean to you to know that, hey, we're going to be get a chance to come out here, but is this a team that you always really wanted to play against back in the day? Of course. Um, who doesn't want to play against UNC, you know what I mean? Um, I have great respect for the program. Um, of course, our owner, the greatest of all time, has you know, went to this to this school. So now I wish I had the chance. It was pretty close. My freshman year, we went to the Final Four. We lost to Michigan State. Um, we were one game short playing those guys, but you know, it didn't happen, but it's all good. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be on campus and getting a chance to see their their, their stadium. It's, it's, it's amazing. There's so much history and um, they, they display it really well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fun to be here. Yeah, you talk about the Dean Dome. You know, this is mm -hmm. a place where you go in there and you see all these banners hanging and yeah. everything that was going on. But it's a great history. But at the same point in time, when you said you thought you might have had a chance to play them in mm -hmm. your freshman year in the championship, you said you were a better matchup. You think you guys would have been able to take out UNC that year? It would have been tough. I mean, maybe not. We, we, we couldn't beat Michigan State, so we probably wouldn't right. beat those guys. <laughs> they, had, they, had a, they had a crazy, crazy team that year. It was a bunch of pros on that team, man. But like I said, I just wish I had the opportunity to do it. Um, I don't know. Maybe life would have been different for me. Right. You know, if we actually got a chance and played those guys, I probably, I probably could have played well. Mm -hmm. I probably could have been the one and done guy, you know? <laughs> Things could have been different. One but, and done. Uh, then you would have never been with the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, True. But so. no, everything happens for a reason. Yep. Yep. So for you now, you know, you mentioned MJ and the ability to be out here and everybody's excited about it. How welcoming has the campus of North Carolina been to you guys oh, so Oh, it's far? been great. It's been great. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Um, you know, and of course, you know, we really appreciate it. You know, they allow us to come here and, you know, use their stuff, um, use their gym, use their weight room, cold tub, everything. And uh, it's amazing. You know, we, we appreciate it a lot. Yeah. When you're out here, what do you do to relax? I mean, what, we know you guys got two days and uh -huh. all that kind of stuff. But what do you do to just kind of wind up? Uh, just stay in the room and wait till practice. Yeah. Um, that's really it. For me personally, I go to the room and I, I play PS4. I play 2K and Madden, one or the other, and that's how I relax. Yeah. 2K and Madden, so you got the new 2K right now? I do, yeah, You're a little of course. disappointed? I mean, come on, man. Let's be, what of Durant? Yeah, what are you, 85? I'm an 85. I'm, I'm, I'm an 86, I believe. Yeah, I, I, I was a little bit disappointed, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, it's all good, man. Ain't no big deal. I'm, I'm gonna just get it up during the season. You know, it, it, it goes up as the season goes, so, you know, I'm just, I want to. I want to I wanna have a great year, so they have no choice but to, you know, <laughs> put my, put my way up. I mean, you're a two-time All-Star. You think you could at least put you up in the '90s? That's 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 how it's been throughout my whole career. The respect level just hasn't been there, yeah. and I, I think I deserve it. But I guess I guess I got I got to keep on proving them wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep doing that. You know, you mentioned that the respect level hasn't been there. You know, this for you, you're you're now going into your eighth season, mm -hmm. but. You're talking about training camp right now. Mm -hmm. You're talking about two-a-days. These are the things you start off in high school and college. And is it kind of amazing to you that you continue this kind of work ethic and this this is the way things have to run for pros? Yeah, I mean, you gotta love it. Mm -hmm. You gotta love it. Um, you can't get bored with it. And that's how I am. I love it, man. I love the game of basketball. I love to, I love to get better. Um, it's my eighth year, but. I don't know. I still feel like like I, feel, I still feel young. Mm -hmm. you know, I still feel like it's I feel like it's my first training camp. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I'm so excited to be around my teammates. Um, it's been a long summer. We've been off since April 10th. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited. Training camp is really fun. You know, we have a new coaching staff, so you know, we got to learn a lot of new things, learn their system. But like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, you know, to, to be here. What has that been like working under the new system so far with Coach JB and, and all the guys that have been? Oh, it's been, here? It's, it's been great. It's been great. Um, you know, this is, this is my fourth coach. You yeah. know, here with the, with the, with this organization and. You know, it's always tough when you get a new coach and you gotta learn a new system, but you know, he's, JB has been great, as, as well as the rest of the staff. They've been great with 
their patience and um, you know their their attitude. They they just they help us. They they're really energetic um, each and every day. The greatest thing about it, you know, they're they're getting better every day, just like we we're trying to get better every day. And I, I respect that. You know, it's it's been fun. You know, um, and I'm looking forward to you know really getting this system down pat. Um, you know, me and Coach JB, we we talk all the time. So yeah, I'm excited. There's been an excitement that he's brought with mm-hmm. him. There's a passion and an energy you can just feel it. Mm-hmm. But it also seems to have really kind of transferred over to you guys as players. Is that mm-hmm. something that you've kind of fed off him with? Oh no question. You know, he he's definitely excited. Um, you know, this is first time being a head coach of course so you, know, you can tell he's excited um but yeah it's, it's definitely trickled down to to all of us I mean you know we're all out out there each and every day you know we're the biggest thing he's trying to bring to us is communication and um it's been great you know our communication has been a one thus far you know we're interact you know interacting a lot uh, with each other on and off the court um, you know which is really important you know we, we're going to see each other every day uh, for the rest of the season so you know we we want to get along you know we we want to be a together team um, and we want to get th- things done together and uh, we want to we want people to see that you know we want people to see how much passion we have for each other how much passion we have for the game of basketball so i think he's done a great job with that yeah i'm not gonna lie as an eight-year vet when you sat down on media day the other day you, you told us you told matt and i that you know you're as excited right now as you were your rookie mm-hmm. year. It, it's, why is that what, what is the case uh i think it's because of the disappointment last year uh-huh. um you know, we we all wanted to have a great year. We all wanted to get to the playoffs, um, and we and we before the season started last year, we all thought that we would, you know, mm-hmm. be a great team and get to the playoffs. But you know, unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. And you know, I've learned so much uh, from last season, um, and you know, just thinking about it over the summer, you know, it just kind of got me excited because you know I feel like. I have so much to offer, you know, to, to a lot of to some of the young guys. Um, and then with the addition of Tony Parker, um, with the addition of, of course, our staff, but um, Jay Hernandez, you know, who's who's my guy. Who I was really excited, you know, to when we when we got him. So, you know, it's just it's 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 many different components that goes into my excitement. But like I said, I'm man, I'm I'm just so happy um, to be around my my teammates and. You know, I want to do what I can to help lead this team to, to some more wins. And I'm, I'm really confident that we will be a really good team this year. The same way the coaching staff's excitement has transferred over to you, how much has your excitement personally transferred over as the leader of this team to a lot of the younger guys? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's transferred. I think it's transferred because, you know, you know I look at myself as, as one of the leaders of this team. And, you know, I, I would love my personality to, you know, Carry over to everyone else. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to interact with everybody on my team. You know, not not just a few guys. I want to be I want to be close with everyone, and uh, I want to be I want to be excited each and every day. Um, I mean, it's going to be tough. It's always tough to be excited because you know things go wrong. Um, not only on the court but off the court. But you know, when I when I'm around my teammates, I want to I want to be. I want to be happy. I want to be excited. I want to have fun. Um, I don't want anybody to know that we won or we lost, you know, the night before. So that's the mentality that I'm trying to bring to this team. You mentioned having fun. Part of the veteran experience mm-hmm. when you bring in young guys, especially rookies, at a mm-hmm. training camp is, you know, you got to carry bags, maybe get food, whatever it might be. Do you remember back your rookie year mm-hmm. in training camp? What was some of the stuff you had to do back then? I didn't have to do much, but only because it was lockout year when I came in. Uh, <laughs> it was true. a lockout year when I came in, so it was, we it was a little two, bit different. Two days yeah, of like yeah. practice, and then it was, we went it was to a little bit different. Games. It was different, man. So I was very fortunate, of course. <laughs> I didn't have to do much, but uh, yeah, it, it was different. Came in the lockout year. We started so late, and I think even when I came in, I still didn't even practice the first day because like the contract situation wasn't mm-hmm. right. Something went wrong, so it was just different. Yeah. So for you now as a vet. You making these guys do stuff? How, how are they doing? How how are they getting through um, training camp early on? Nothing, nothing. We don't we don't do that here really. We don't we don't do much to to mess with the rooks. We we probably should start some tradition out here, but uh, they're doing well. Um, I'm really excited for those guys. They 
really great kids, man. You know, Devontae and Miles, they the way they play just just fits our just fits our style of play so much. Um, but most importantly, the, the 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 kind of people they are, you know, fits our fits what we want to do, fits our organization. Um, they come in, they work hard each and every day, um, just like they're supposed to. You know what I mean? And you know, I'm I'm really excited about that. You know, when you when you when you get young guys, you know, a lot of times, you know, you have to tell those guys, you know, teach them, you know, the ways and. Um, the thing about those guys, they they see guys working and they 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 do the same. And you know, whenever you tell those guys anything, they they try their best to to to, to do it right away. And um, you know, that's 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 really exciting. It seems like you really embrace young guys when they come along, especially. Uh, was there anybody who really embraced you back in the day that kind of made oh, yeah. you get through your rookie season? Yeah. Um. I mean, I think everyone embraced me, man. I mean, it let's was, talk about rookie season. Yeah. You needed to get through. That was a seven wins. Season. Oh my goodness. I mean, that was tough. <laughs> It was, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a tough year. It was a tough year, but um, yeah, a lot of guys. I mean, for the most part, my my, my, my two guys were uh, Gerald Henderson and uh, Sagana Jop. Mm-hmm. You know, those guys, they they got me through. As well as DJ Augustine, man. Big shout out to DJ because he he he, he got me through as well, and I, I've learned a lot from him um, early on in my career. Even though we we played one year together, um, but yeah, I mean that one year he's. They got me through, man, and um, definitely appreciate those guys for that. Now, if you're looking for something to do, these guys, we were talking. Matt Carroll was on Chris Kruger's podcast. Oh, and Matt, the I other cannot day. forget Matt. Oh yeah, let's not Matt's forget about Matt. Kill me. He's, he's I cannot Coach forget Carroll. Matt. Yeah. How, how does that sound, Coach Carroll? Crazy, <laughs> because I play with him. <laughs> because I play with him, so it sounds crazy, but it's it's exciting, man. Because Matt has so much to offer. Mm-hmm. He has so much to offer, man. He's such a smart guy. Knows so much about the game and. Uh, the, the, the best thing about Matt is um, off the court, man. You can go to that guy and, and literally talk about anything. You know, if you have, if you want to get some advice, um, you know, Matt's one of those guys you can go to, and he'll try to the best of his of his ability to to help you. And um, yeah, Matt, man, he's another guy who got me through that that rookie year, man. Um, Special guy right there. I love that dude right there. That's my guy. And he was talking on Kroger's podcast and saying when he was a rookie, he went back that far oh, man. and was talking about what he had to do. He had to stand in center court and sing the Notre Dame fight song. Oh, so maybe wow. that's what you got to get these guys to do. Let's see if Miles can sing the Michigan State's mm-hmm. fight song. We get Devontae to sing KU's <laughs> fight song. Right? We can get, get them doing something. Like yeah, we're going we we to we start something. Now, the only thing yeah. I'd be worried about is if they start singing, Kimba Walker might start dancing. That's what uh, a lot of our fans don't really understand is what a good dancer you are. I don't know, is my true? I mean, I've been waiting. You and I have known each other for eight years now. I've never really had a chance to talk to you much about it. The <laughs> Showtime at the Apollo, mm-hmm. this was Kemba Walker three times you were on the show. So it's not just three like times, you did it yeah. once and they were like, eh, they, they brought you back. Yeah. So you can break it down? Not no more. Them days, I'm, I'm getting too old, man. I my rhythm is just not there anymore like that. I don't, I don't know. know. We I still see it. the shimmy, man. We see the, the shimmy, shimmy, shimmy when you're at the, the shimmy, shimmy come out here and there. <laughs> the shimmy come out here and there. But yeah, I, all them new dances they do now, I, I just can't. I can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Maybe next time we'll see a yeah. dab, much like Cam Newton, the guy who came in the same time you did. Yeah. Kind of come in. We got to find something that we can kind of Some. I'm get a, that Kemba Walker. I think. I, I think, think I'm gonna stick with the shimmy. The shimmy's good though. Yeah, I, like I think I'm gonna stick with the shimmy. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. It's been a great trip back. We're back at the hotel. We'll make sure you uh, go out and kick butt the next few yes, days, sir. man, and get appreciate ready to go because we got that game on Friday night. Yes, sir. Thanks appreciate a lot, it. Yes, sir. Appreciate you know it. it. You know it. Be here to get your 2018 season membership. Call 704 Hornets. This is Buzz City.